Coach Hopper here with Howard Elite Basketball. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Whenever you come to my channel, I want you to come ready to learn. Because I'm going to teach you everything I know about this game. The ins, the outs, the ups, and the downs. And as long as you're willing to get better, I'm willing to teach. So with that being said, let's go. Sitting here at the Toyota Center in Houston last night watching this guy James Harden up close. Uh, you know that I feel like he's the MVP. I'm not going to apologize for that. The man averaged 30 this year. The man is absolutely sensational. But to watch him up close, man, I, I, I just don't know how he does it. You know he's going left. You know 90% of the time, if not more, he's going to use his left hand. And you just can't stop him. James Harden is clearly one of the best scorers in basketball today. But success like his is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and of course, having a deadly size of your help. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. James Harden's between the legs size up. This move is fairly simple, but it works constantly. There has been times where I've seen James Harden use this move four or five times in one position and it still works. That's my 2K players would say, he basically spams the move. That's what's more impressive. Defenders obviously know it's coming, but they still can't stop it. So let's break down how it works. The first thing that you have to do with this size up is get down in an aggressive stance. A stance where the defense feel like you can blow past them at any time. This part of it is very important. Now James Harden does stand up sometimes when he does it, but for the most part, he's down in a super athletic stance, ready to attack, making his defender guess at every moment. Is he gonna blow past me or is he gonna pull up? The number one reason that it works is because of the time. What he does basically is lures his defense to sleep. He's always switching the time and when he crosses it over, when he puts it between his legs. Sometimes he goes fast, Sometimes he goes slow, but he's always keeping the defense guessing. And when the defense least suspect it, he makes a move out of the size up, leaving them to have to catch up to him. When James Harden does the between the legs size up, there's a lot of different ways that he does it. Sometimes he goes between the legs and then crosses it over. Sometimes he goes between the legs and then put it back between his legs again. There's even been times when he goes between the legs, crosses it over, and straight into a step back, or he might just hit you with it four times in a row. You never know. But the most important part is he's constantly changing the speed of the size up. And one of the ways that he does it is with the skip out. A lot of times he goes between his legs, crosses the ball over, and he skips out, pauses for a second, and freezes the defense. He can skip out to his left, or it could skip out to his right. I've seen him do it both ways. From that little skip out, you can do a lot of different things. You can blow right past your defender. You can pull right up on him. You can cross him over, or you can go back to the size up. There's numerous options, and this is what makes James Harden between the legs size up so tough to guard. He's destroying the defender's timing. The defenders are basically at his mercy whenever he has the ball. So basically, the only thing there is left to do is to like, comment, and subscribe. After you're done with that, follow me on Instagram. And then once you're done with all that, get off of your social media, get out there, and go try the move. Use it in different ways, change the speeds, add the skip out, work it, drive to the basket, shoot the jump shot. You only get better if you try.